This time, my Caribbean adventures find me in incredible Antigua, with a beach for every day of the year. Yep, there's 365 of the beauties. The sound of the waves and nothing else. I go swimming with stingrays and get unbelievably up close and personal with these incredible creatures. High five. Yay. I hire my very own yacht to escape to places you can only see via the sea. Look at this place! Including my own desert island. You made me a plate? Yes. Thank you. And I get into the Caribbean spirit with a real-life carnival queen. Do you not feel like you're going to come out of anything there? No. So let's discover Antigua together. As I leave Grenada to head to Antigua, my, what a blast I've had. It's on to the next adventure. Right, well, I'm very happy that you have been in Grenada. Oh, me too. And I know you will come again. Oh, do you know what? I will. It's just been a revelation. From here, I'm flying into Antigua. And I'm looking forward to that because it's all about yachts. It's all about people with money. It's a millionaire's playground. So uh, I'm looking forward to looking at things that I can't afford. An hour's flight later and I'm here. Travelling on your Todd needn't be lonely, especially when they're expecting you. And the driver's a bit of all right. Nice to meet you. Hello. All right. And you, you are? Chet. Chet. Nice right. to meet you, Chet. You're going to come in right here. Right. Shall and I I'll leave deal this with with the you? I'll deal with Thank you very much, right. Chet. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> it's been a long day. I know, that's all right. <laughs> Thanks, Chet. I'm very excited to see the island now because it's over 20 years since I was here. I was a singer on the cruise ships when I used to come here. So I'm just wondering if anything has changed. The only thing that hasn't changed is me. Like me, Antigua's small and sunny. It's a 108 square mile limestone and coral island. That's about the same size as Wakefield. I'll be right at home. Years ago, I visited the south for a day and I remember it was lovely, so that's where I'll be staying. And I've arrived at my home for the week, the Curtain Bluff Hotel. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. And right on cue, there's the friendly Antiguan welcome I remember so well. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, this is good. All right. I'm enjoying this already. <laughs> now, that's my kind of check-in. A delicious rum cocktail served with a smile. But let's have a gander at my room. You're in room 60. Thank right you very in. much. Ooh. All right. This? Okay. I've got my own lounge. Yes. Wow, look at that. You have two sides of patio, one right here. Wow, look at this, it's all open plan. And... Yes. If you sit right here, you're going to always get a good view of the whole village. Gosh, it's like a, a villa. Straight to the bedroom. Right. <laughs> oh, this is nice, uh, Michael, isn't it? Yeah, it is, it is. I'm absolutely jiggered after all that travel. And that comfy bed's oh, calling. See. To be fair, when you arrive at night, you've got no idea what you're, you're going to see in the morning. It could be a car park out there, for all I know. I'm hoping it's not, but tomorrow is another day. Good morning! Welcome to my room. <gasps> oh, wow. With over 60 hotels on the island, Antigua has something to suit everyone. But as this is the final stop on my trip of a lifetime, I want to finish it off in style with a bit of laid back luxury. And I'm pleased to report, I'm not overlooking the car park. The reason I picked this hotel is because it is really quiet. This is in the south of the island. If you want busy shops, everything else, that's up north. But down south, it's quiet, it's secluded, and it's peaceful. And that's why I'm here. The gardens here are a peaceful oasis of lush vegetation and pretty ponds, perfect for a morning mooch. 
and you could even stop for a snooze under that palm tree or in a bed. But first things first, I want to dip a toe in those turquoise waters and get me bearings. Yep, I've got the beach to myself. And now I've left my footprints in the sand, it's time for you and I to do some exploring. This family-run resort is home to tropical gardens, a spa and tennis courts. In the past, you could rub shoulders with Paul McCartney, Eric Clapton and Sophia Loren here. Now, if you want the very best tourist tips, do what I do and make a beeline for your hotel manager. In my case, the lovely Wendy. Ah, ah, good morning, Jane. Good How morning, that was good timing. She's pulled a few strings and managed to wangle me an exclusive <laughs> tour of the owner's home. Well, if you don't ask, you don't get. Oh, wow, look at this view. This is magnificent, isn't it? But, I, yeah. I mean, I, I, it's just incredible. So let's go out. Although every part of my being just wants to stay here, yes. I'm going to venture out. Uh, can you recommend anything Absolutely. For me? I think definitely you should go to Stingray City. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful excursion on the eastern side of the island right. where they have stingrays that are now in the wild. Oh, the other area you should definitely see is Nelson's Dockyard, the English Harbour area, which is a World Heritage Site, mm -hmm. and it's the yachting centre of the Caribbean, and you should rent a, a yacht. Oh, thank you for suggesting that. Please, can we go on it? Please, can we do the yacht? Please, can we rent a yacht? Please. Oh, I can just see me sunning myself on a luxury yacht. But first, I'm going to take my friend Wendy's advice and check out some of the local sea life. I'm off to swim with stingrays today. So I'm going swimming with the little fishes. Have a fish. Why are we smiling anyways? Look, I'm no David Attenborough. The aptly named Stingray City is a 12-mile hop across the island from my hotel. Just 30 minutes by hire car or my fave, a cheap local bus. It's good to get out now and again, you know, from your hotel. I know when you get there and you get on that sunbed, you think, I'm never leaving here again. But I love nothing more than a bus trip because it, it sort of shows you the real Antigua. <laughs> And my stingray specialist today is Randy. No, that's his name. And here comes his safety briefing. Yes, they will touch you. They'll brush up against us. By the way, do you have a dog at home? A what? A, a dog. No. Uh, or we call them puppies of the ocean. The reason why I ask you that is because, you know, when, when you have a dog and you leave home, and when you get back, the first thing the dog is going to do, come up to you, brush up against you. Yeah. Same with the stingrays. Oh, OK. So when we get there, you're going to see them circle around the dock. And as soon as they get in, they're going to be brushed up against you. Oh. Yeah, and they're just looking at the treat. Because, you know, whenever there's people, there's food, lots of interaction. Yeah, no, I like that. No yeah, yeah, yeah. Wendy told me this is one of the few places in the Caribbean where you can get up close and personal with these graceful, magical creatures. This one? Group tours to see the stingrays are very popular, but today, Wendy's arranged for Randy to take me and my crew out Ooh. on a private yeah. boat. There we go. Right here. All right. Queen for the day. Queen for the day. Like it. Minutes later, I'm whisked away to another world. Crystal clear, shimmering waters, chest high and as warm as a bath, heaven. And now the ghostly shadows are gliding and gathering around the boat. But the good thing is that they, they, are, they are free. There's no cages around here. They just know where the grub is. While they're floating, I'm in a flap. They're related to sharks, don't you know? You hold it, I'll just look at it. Coming up, I get up close and personal with these magnificent sea creatures. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Experience high seas luxury by chartering my own yacht. I can't believe he's left me in charge. I'm just a bit worried because I don't know how to stop it. There's no brakes. All right, turn left. Aye, aye, Captain. And grab a bite to eat with Antiguan Rainforest royalty. Just don't be so greedy. Oh. All right. <laughs> so 
sometimes I have to pinch myself this is happening. I'm on the incredible island of Antigua and about to dive into these crystal clear waters to go swimming with stingrays. They're massive. They're really big. This experience is all about getting up close and personal, but I must admit, I'm a little bit scared. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of them. These things can grow a metre and a half in width. That's as wide as I am tall. <laughs> the water might be lovely and warm, but I've got cold feet. No, 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 no. But it's not every day you get an opportunity like this, so I'm going to take the plunge. I'll just look. <laughs> I've never seen stingrays this big in my life. Just stand next to me. Oh, I'm quite to death. Stand next to me. OK. Flat open palms, OK? Like that? Yeah. You can do this, Jane. You can do it. OK. <laughs> I did it, I did it. It's really soft, really soft to touch. It's truly amazing to be in the environment, their environment, and up close, this far up close to a stingray. When you come to Antigua, you must dive in and say hello to a sociable stingray. And if you're travelling solo like me, it's the perfect place to while away a few hours with a finned friend. Hi, time. Hey. It's a bit unnerving, I can't say it's not, but I'm really glad I did it. I can't believe I've been that close to a stingray that big and high-fived it. Now you're done with the stingrays, it's yeah. time to head to Jurassic Park. What? Home of the giant Aldabra tortoise. A tortoise? Oh, yeah. Yep, stingrays were just the starter, because Randy's lined me up for an extra treat, the Laviscount Island Animal Sanctuary. Swimming with stingrays and now getting together with tortoises. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Oh, wow. No T-Rex. No T-Rex, thank just goodness for that. Park. Wow, look at the size of these. <laughs> I've never seen so many tortoise. I've only ever seen one in a box at my friends. It's just, they look like walking footstools, don't they, really? I never saw one like this in school. It's like the blue Peter tortoise on steroids. I'm going to hand you over to the keeper of the hands of Isaiah. Oh, hi. He's going hi. to be the guide. Well, welcome to Lover's Island. Oh, thank you. And I'm just in time for the tea. Do you want some carrot? Yeah. That's it. You having it? Oh, blimey. You've got an appetite, haven't you? Blimey. People say these are the most sociable tortoises in the world. I say they're the most greedy tortoises in the world. They really do yeah, know how to they eat, really... don't they? Do they bite? I've been bitten a few times now, and it's, it's just very unpleasant. I don't suppose it's the most pleasant thing, Watch is it? behind you. <laughs> all right. It's very easy for them to sneak up on you because they make no sound at all, you know? Yeah. So this is their natural habitat? Yeah, this is not far from their natural habitat. These guys were actually brought over from Mauritius. Do they mate for life? No, these guys will, will mate and move on, you know? Oh, I see. Yeah. I've got friends like that myself. <laughs> my problem is my toenails are the same colour as a carrot, so they're going to have my toes off, if anything. Giant Aldabra tortoises are one of the world's longest living animals, easily surpassing 100 years old. And there are 50 of the shelly old codgers here. Blimey, just, just don't be so greedy. See, I thought... Tortoises would be sort of placid like they are in our, you know, in the UK. No. Oh, no, no, no. These ones are like zombies. They see you and they think you're food. Hey, oh, here comes trouble. Oh. All right. After all this tortoise dodging, I think I've earned my tea. I fondled a fish and I've toyed with a tortoise. But People of a, a nervous disposition might not love it so much, but it is great to see and get in there. Um, I never realised that tortoises were that hungry, and I never realised that stingrays were so loving.
It's day two in paradise, and whilst I love Wakefield, there's really nothing like waking up to the sound of waves lapping on the shore. And after yesterday's action-packed safari, I'm up for a nice day on the beach. And with 365 to choose from, on Antigua, you're spoilt for choice. So how do you decide? Well, technology, of course. The clever clogs at the Antigua and Barbuda Tourism Authority have apped up a beach personality test. So what's mine? I wonder. What's the first thing you do when you get to the beach? I think it's check out the nearby beach bars. It's not so much about getting a pina colada, but it's about where the nearest toilet is for me. Cos I'm at that age now where I've started to check out where the toilets are. <laughs> so I'm going to go for that. What do you wear for a day at the beach? A slinky bikini? No. A big hat for napping under? Mm -hmm. Something floaty so I can eat a big lunch? That's definitely me. Who would you like to hang out with at the beach? Well, Brad Pitt. I wouldn't mind a bit of that. Uh, but he's obviously not on the list, so I'll just go for my friends. I'm loving this personality test because you're finding out what you actually really want from a beach. And I'm really finding that I'm the person that I always thought I was. <laughs> so that's me, but where's my ideal stretch of sand? Oh, Pigeon Point. I'm a socialite, apparently. The best beach for a touch of celeb spotting. You're a stylish traveller. Popular with yachties and A-listers looking for a quiet escape. Pigeon Point in English Harbour is in the heart of the action and might just be the perfect beach for you. Let's go! I can kill two birds with one stone because earlier my friend Wendy at the hotel told me to go and see English Harbour and as luck would have it, it's en route to my perfect beach. So let's swing by. Can't believe I'm here. I'm at English Harbour in Antigua. And this is where all the fabulous yachts hang out. If you've got a yacht, Antigua's constant winds, hundreds of bays and annual sailing week make it the place to moor up. It's like a real live Duran Duran video. I'm going to meet somebody called Libby Nicholson today, whose family have been in yachting for about 50 years. Where are we now, then? This is actually where the yacht charting industry began. It's a great place for the yachts to sail into. There's a lot going on here. It's a protected harbour. I hope. It's fab here. <laughs> yes. So this is a fantastic harbour for me to grow up in, I have oh, to say. Imagine. What a childhood, eh? <laughs> Libby was born and raised on Antigua, moved away, then felt the pull of paradise so came back to start her own hospitality business, a place that has attracted below-deckers over two decades, who visit for rest, relaxation, rum punch and party nights. I first heard about this place back in my cruise ship days. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this lovely place! Would you, like, would you like a drink? Oh, I would. This is our signature welcoming rum punch. Thank you very we, much. We have all of our guests enjoy these. Oh, Cheers. that's fantastic. <laughs> Cheers to you as well. How did this start then? It actually started naturally because we were one of the first to sort of offer accommodations off the yachts. So do people sleep down here as well? Only when we're very full. That's mine then. That's yeah, what OK, doing. that's your bed, we'll reserve it. <laughs> oh, Come this way, I'll show you I the will. rest of it. This, these are some of our crew. This is Engineer Annie. She's an Hi, engineer on the yacht. Nice engineer, nice to meet you. Then we have Faye, who's Hi. just done Hi, a, a course for... What was it, Faye? Day Skippers. Day Skippers. Day Skipper, oh. So, the girls clearly like it here. I'm keen to know why. It's a beautiful place. Obviously, it's a great view. It's really chilled. Um, really yeah. chilled. Feels like home. Really just comfortable. Libby makes everyone feel at home like, like she's mum. That's not difficult. I love everybody here. It's very welcoming. And if I hadn't have been a cruise ship singer all those years ago and I'd have seen this place, I might have had a different career. I might have been below decks. Make of that what you will. Oh, and talking about going below decks. This is the Bougainvillea cottage. Oh. And this is a typical 
um, <laughs> sailor. <laughs> sailor on the bed in the. This is a typical cottage um, that we rent out for. Are we allowed our to stay? This is Harm. I'd like to introduce you to Harm. He's hanging Harm. out in this room. He's got this room for the week. Are you working on a ship right now or yes. a boat? Yes, at the moment I uh, work full time. I'm a deckhand, so uh -huh. I'll, I'll start low and I'll try to work my way up. Well, lovely to meet you, and I'm sorry to have crashed your pad. Yes, that was just chilling. <laughs> yeah. Hello. You're welcome. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, it's getting very hot in here, don't you think? <laughs> I've had a lovely time meeting Libby today and all the crew up at Pineapple House. It really has been a special, special welcome and being among all these lovely yachts here and seeing the yachts up close has really made me want to charter one. Obviously, it won't be anything like this behind me, but I might have a little of one, so I'm going to charter my own yacht. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. But before that, Time to see if the beach dating app really did find the perfect match. So this is Pigeon Point, where my personality test sent me, and I asked for uh, restaurants and cafe bars and toilets, and of course, I've got all of those. This is definitely my beach. Roll over Scarborough. This is a match made in heaven. And what better way to celebrate than with a tipple in the beachfront bar? Well, it'd be rude not to. And who should I bump into but me pal Libby? Cheers. It's great here, I love it. I've got my banana colada. And I'm looking at all everybody, all the youngsters in there, all having a great time. And it takes me back 20 or 30 years to when I was a crew member on the ships. And what fun we had. And it's just lovely now at my age to watch them all having a great time and reminiscing of how good life can be. But before the sun sets on another perfect day in paradise, let's not forget my trusty app touted this scenic spot a celeb magnet. And a little birdie tells me it's a favourite hangout of a famous local fashion designer, Chandy Lewis. He loves feathers and sequins as much as I do. And I cannot wait to meet him. Lovely to meet you. Because sure, you are the person who makes all things fabulous, aren't you? Beautiful costume. Yes, this is the carnival for the king. Yeah. I can't believe it, because I love a good frock. Yes. I do get dressed up quite a lot. Yeah. You know, with the sequins and the beading. Beans and the feathers. Yeah. The it's a whole work. Wow. You know, I'm going to have to commission something yes, from that's you, true. aren't I? Because guess what? Mm. I'm going to invite you to my workshop, <gasps> and you're going to see everything that I make. Really? Yes. Thank you so much. Sure. Can I have a hug? Sure. Oh, thank you so You're much. Welcome. And I'll see you soon. Definitely. OK, bye. Bye. Coming up, I'm dazzled as Antigua's carnival queens flash the flesh. I feel slightly <laughs> underdressed. <laughs> Channel my inner Serena Williams with a grunting good time on the tennis oh. courts and hire my very own yacht to transport me to a tropical paradise. My own deserted island! <laughs> oh, wow. Day three of my incredible stay on Antigua. Anyone for tennis? Well, I haven't done that much exercise since I've been here. Hello! I'm very well to the tennis court, young man. Thank you very much. Well, I don't want to peek too early, do I? <laughs> All the big names of tennis have played here. Martina Navratilova, Annabelle Croft, Tracy Austin, Jane McDonald is about to have a tennis lesson. I had a tennis lesson when I was about 11 and I was rubbish. I've got all the gear, no idea. Is this the door? Yeah. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. I've got a tennis lesson, is it with you? Yes. Oh, My I'm Jane. I'm Clifton Sleepy Simon. Sleepy, is that what they call you? Yes, I am. Well, I'm happy. Right, there right. we go. That's very good. That's very good. I'm not rate right cracking, so okay. be gentle with me. I will. Okay. I will. Okay, we so we'll start at the service line. What's the service line? That run across the court right there. That's the service line. That's the service yes, line. Yes. 
I want you to turn and I just want you to hit the ball. Right? That's it. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not that one. Right. <laughs> so first, we have to keep our eyes on the ball. Okay? All right. Right. Don't swat at it. Swing. Let's go. Okay. Oh, hello. Nearly went in the sea. Slower swing. One, two, three. Very good. Oh. Again. That's very oh. good. That's lovely. Oh. Very good. Very good. I can hit the ball. Are you a pro now, Jane? You're a pro. Um, no, I'm not, love. But... That's too <laughs> early. Right? That's too early. OK. Let's go. Push. One more. Oh. oh. <laughs> Call the insurers. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't get too excited, right? I am. Again. One, two, three. That's beautiful. Anyone can have a smashing time here. You can book a private lesson if you're on your tod like me, or get together with your pals and just turn up and play. OK, I'm getting my backhand sorted, but don't professional players raise a racket. Pun intended. Thank you. Are you supposed to grunt? You don't have to, but you could. Right, I've seen that on the telly, you Well, see. I want you to grunt. Uh, I'm going to grunt. Let's try it with a grunt. Let's go. That's it. There you go. That's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Nice grunt. Lovely. That's what I'm talking about. Very good. Whoa. I am grunting. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the grunt helped. So uh, thank you to the telly for showing me the grunt. We'll leave it there for today, right? OK. Positive, positive, positive hidden. Thank and you. And I think you should really take this up, right? I started the day with zero experience, but even I managed to hit a ball by the end. I really enjoyed that. Mind you, it's probably because I'm in the Caribbean. I've got a coach. It's palm trees around me. The sea's just there. But something has really rubbed off on me here today. Anyone for tennis? One outfit changed later, and I'm swapping sweat for sparkle. Sadly, it is not carnival season during my stay, with the Antiguan event taking place every August. So I've been promised a colourful experience by costume maker Chandy Lewis. This is a great treat for a sequin-loving lass like me. It's a short nine-mile hop inland to Chandy's workshop in Freeman's Village. Welcome to Freeman's Village. Chandy has been making waves in carnival fashion for over 15 years with his colourful feather and diamante stud creations. Like Antigua, his designs are bright, distinctive and unforgettable. I love your headdresses as well. That's yes. Amazing. I'm the feather boss, so trust me, you'll see a lot of feathers. Oh, and it looks like I'm just in time for a fitting. I'm working on something. Yeah. So you can come, you can see what I'm making. And I also have some friends here. Oh, lovely. So you'll get to see them in some beautiful costumes. OK. So, let's go. Lead on. Thank you. Oh, OK, OK. <laughs> Fantastic. I love this. This is something more for the conservative type, as you know. Yeah. Different from the sexy type. That's definitely <laughs> sexy look. <laughs> Understated, just like me, these fab cozies will soon be dancing on the streets for a carnival. So in the carnival, are you on a float or are you walking and dancing? It's a little bit of both, like from the start. Usually some people or myself would start on the float and then the music just gets you on the road. Yeah. You don't remember <laughs> that you know you're supposed to be on the float. So. I admire you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not feel like you're going to come out of anything there? No, well, no. I'm, I'm the size no, of no, no. so I'm not moving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I just remember being a dancer. <laughs> I know me. Years ago, this takes me back because I used to do all my own costumes with glue guns and you look sensational. Thank, Thank you. you. Come with me and I'll show you how to make some oh, stuff. Oh, right. Yeah. I'll, I'll get the kettle on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you to make a nice jewel headband. Headband? Yes. Fabulous. So this is just basically an idea to give you what okay. I'm doing. So. This is the glue gun that you like. Yeah, I love a glue gun. <laughs> this, 
really takes me back to when I used to do this nearly every night. Every evening, stopped me eating crisps. I used to sit with a load of diamantes with the colour scheme of the show and I used to hot fix all colours and make fantastic things that came out your head. So this is a really great memory for me. Look what I've done! How fantastic is that? To actually make something that would be worn in a carnival is an opportunity of a lifetime. I feel really lucky and about six years old at the same time. Thank you for coming to my workshop. Thanks for letting me pinch your ideas. Yes. <laughs> you take care of You too. Oh. Shandy Lewis has got a worldwide reputation and I am so thrilled that I tracked him down here in Antigua. He's just a gentleman, a creative soul, and I feel better for meeting him. And look at this. And as the day gives way to night, there's one show I never miss. I absolutely love this time of day, when the sun is just about to set. And it really sets quick here, so you've got to, you know, blink and you'll miss it. So just hang around and wait for that amazing sunset in the Caribbean. And the sun's just a beautiful temperature. And it's like the end of another perfect day and the beginning of a perfect evening. The trip I've waited for all my life. I think this is the outfit for a yacht because it looks quite glamorous. It's finally here and I'm so ready. <coughs> Onward. But will it live up to my expectations? I can't believe I'm doing this. I thought I was just going to sunbathe and sing Duran Duran. It's my last day on Antigua, and I'm about to fulfil a lifelong ambition of mine. When you come to the Caribbean, you really have to go out to the sea. It's an expensive thing to do, and I've found probably the cheapest. <laughs> but, hey, this is once in a lifetime I'm going to do this. It's just over uh, £3,000. But it takes ten passengers, and that's 300 quid a piece. So if there's 10 of you, big family, hire the yacht for the day and have a really good time. And a good time we will have, so best get packing. I think this is the outfit for a yacht because it looks quite glamorous. Sunglasses, water shoes. If it's a bit corally um, under the water, then these are essential. Toilet roll, now look. You're going to think, why is she taking the toilet roll? I'm in the middle of the ocean. And this boat, I don't know what's on it and what isn't on it. Uh, and if there is a toilet, at least I'll know I've got my own toilet roll, just in case. All right? Diarrhea, really. You're in a strange country. You're eating different things to what you would eat at home. You don't know how your digestive system's going to be, so always be prepared. Proper girl guide, aren't I? It's a 20-minute bus ride from my hotel to the brilliantly named Jolly Harbour. Jolly? I'm ecstatic. And I'm here. Hello. Hi, Jane. Oh. Welcome aboard. Thank you very much. Yeah. Are you the skipper? Yes, I'll be your skipper for the day. Great. And your name is? And my name is Daniel. Daniel. I'm Jane. Lovely to meet you. This is for the posh people, isn't it? It is posh, but almost any and everybody can do this. Well, it's it's for you, like me, to feel posh for oh, the yes, day. yes, pretty much, yes, that's oh, true. Oh, gosh. Yeah. I just want to feel how the other half live. So I'm going to take you to um, places where it's only accessible by boat. Oh, Daniel, my perfect day is just about to start. Yes. Isn't it exciting? See, this is what dreams are made of, isn't it? Being on your own yacht. <laughs> Hiya. This is the life, isn't it? <laughs> Everybody's so friendly, aren't they? I wanted to do it in Antigua because of its links with yachting, but you can do it on any island in the Caribbean. 
sunning myself is what I thought I'd be doing all day, but my skipper Daniel has other plans. How are we yes. doing? Yes, OK, so I want to get the sails up, and um, we've got to turn this boat towards the wind while we do that. So I'm, I'm going to ask you to, to drive. Me? Yeah. OK. So, see that boat over there? Yeah, don't gonna... hit it. Yeah, right, don't hit it. We're just going to go right around him, and we're going to point in the same direction he's pointing. All right. I believe he's left me in charge. I'm on course, so now I'm facing the way of the wind. It really handles well. It does exactly what you tell it to do, which is, is good. <laughs> I'm just a bit worried because I don't know how to stop it. There's no brakes. Go straight for that buoy. OK. I can't believe I'm doing this. I thought I was just going to sunbathe and sing Duran Duran. Come for a sunbathe on a yacht, I said. You'll have a lovely, lazy day, they said. I'm driving the chuffing boat. All right, turn left. Aye, aye, Captain. I'm making this up as I go along. It's a fab Not feeling. This trip is amazing. You get to sail the high seas and navigate your own yacht. I love a two-for-one deal, me. But now I'm handing over to autopilot. Right now, if you let go, it's like magic. I'm really pleased I've done that, though, Daniel. Thank you. Well, I feel like I've been helpful. You are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Right. I'm off for a sunbathe. Next stop, my friend Daniel's promised me a deserted beach and a meal fit for a queen. Today, that's me, by the way. Daniel, what's for lunch? We're going to catch it. Next thing I know, he'll be asking me to sing for my supper. I've never had a rod in my hand, ever. Stop oh. it. Oh, oh my God, someone tugged at it. What what type of fish am I likely to get? Uh, five pong, maybe up to uh, a ten pong mai mai. You're joking. Yeah. He'll probably drag me in. Do I wiggle it about or something? Uh -huh. You can tell I'm fresh to this fish in Malarkey. Just tug it. Just tug it, yeah. Right, I'm wiggling my rod. Tugging away. Let's hope we get a bite. Mm. Otherwise, we're going to go hungry. Actually, it's quite relaxing, this, isn't it? I've got my rod in my hand. I'm happy as Larry. Who's Larry? Whoever Larry is, he's not here. And I've not caught a thing. Time for Daniel's plan B. Jane? Yeah? All right, we are here. Um, I'm going to go closer and drop anchor and then we're going to use the, t the tender and go to the beach. OK. Beautiful isn't good enough, really. It's like your greens into your turquoises, into your blues. It's just incredible. Nature. It's a wonderful thing, isn't it? I can't believe it. I've got this amazing golden sanded beach in front of me and there's not a person on it. Isn't it fabulous? Just sit off, go straight to the other side. Other side? Yeah, <laughs> I nearly right grabbed something else then. Awkward. Right. Anyway, moving on. Time to be transported to my deserted island paradise. Okay. <sighs> Look at this place. My own deserted island. <gasps> Oh, wow. The sound of the waves. And nothing else. This is truly paradise. And what better lunch in paradise than freshly caught fish straight from the ocean? Is lunch ready? Yes, it is. Fantastic. Have you made me a plate? Yes. Thank you. Nice. Mm, 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 mm. That is gorgeous. Who needs knife and forks and plates? Just listen to the sound of those waves lapping against the shore. If I was to ask you to sum up the Caribbean, you'd probably say golden beaches, warm seas, 
sunshine. And it's all of that. But it's so much more. It's the people, it's the food, it's the waterfalls, it's the sea and under the sea. I thank you very much for sharing this amazing journey with me. What a perfect end to a perfect holiday and something to dream of back home in Wakey. And that's only scraping the surface of these incredible, unforgettable islands. I think we should come back one day, you and I, to see what else we can discover. And if you do come to the Caribbean, I hope you have the most amazing time. So it's nearly curtained down on the Caribbean, but there's always time for one last encore. This one sums up these wonderful memories we've created, you and I. They're never enough. I'm trying to hold my breath. Let it stay this way. Can't let this moment end Take my hand Will you share this with me? Cause darling, without you All the shine from a thousand spotlights All the stars we steal from the night sky Will never be 